fourth and final part of making E figure. Uh, this time we are looking at the electronics and finishing the model. All right, here we are with the electronics. This is Arduino. Check the consumer there. Um, there's a uh, chip and various electronic things and uh, these are the ports we are going to use. Yeah, and uh, uh, we are not just planning on doing the example here with some breadboard and uh, these are the uh, LED matrices they're pretty cool it's like a two centimeters side and uh, eight by eight LEDs they're pretty bright and the blue LEDs uh, this is the backpack uh, thing uh, it's a uh, some kind of chip driving the LEDs. Um, with this demonstration I'm just using a bunch of uh, jumper wires and uh, let's take a look. First I'll just put these um, backpacks on the board like so. They're not pinned and uh, like the code said, we have, uh, um, if you can see here, come on, zoom, or focus, here we have analog ports. So, uh, the clock is from port 5 and uh, there we see point with this one. There we see a small C and D and minus and plus. So we are just connecting those. So analog file to clock and that's the, this line here. Then we have uh, data to analog 4, that's this one, then uh, power 5 volts plus there. and ground from there to there. like so and um, I'm just jumping the um, same like data to this block so they are um, basically doing the same thing so I color coded these wires to make it easier so green is the clock which row is it is that one yeah there white data there and uh, ground so to the minus like so and uh, lastly power to there okay um, obviously we have to do it some other way in the head because it won't fit like this so um, maybe maybe some fancy circuit board or something like that okay now we just need some power and uh, uh, Arduino is using this time uh, USB so this wire is connected to my computer USB and uh, when I just plug it here, that Arduino will turn itself on, and uh, hopefully uh, we get the eyes blinking. Uh, I've uploaded the code into the chip, 
So let's see what happens. We start blinking. Yeah. They're pretty, pretty bright. I think it looks cool. We have to adjust the brightness, but uh, now the camera is kind of exaggerating the brightness. It's not that bright as it looks in the screen. But yeah, that's how simple it is to get a couple of LED matrices to blink to serve as the eyes for the EVA. Just ahead. Blink, blink. Blink, blink. All right, let's check out the base. It's um, some kind of a food container box uh, that I got from uh, a store. It didn't uh, cost a few euros, not that much. And um, I glued a was it like a, mm, a headphone accessory thing. I'm not sure what even this is. But anyways, I glued it on top here and just to give some kind of details. And I scraped off the the markings like a, you can barely say that it's made in Taiwan. But yeah, there's the hole that you will be sitting on. And um, this will be the front side. There's going to be um, this kind of cool button that you will that you press, and the eyes start to glow. And uh, on the side, we are going to have uh, like a power switch just to turn turn the um, turn this button on, because the button will have a like a blue LED inside the button, so it's. Uh, going to be cool looking uh, and here on the back side uh, there's going to be a speaker that and a uh, um, hole for the volume adjustment if if I want to keep the eyes blinking or on and I uh, don't want to hear the noise so I can turn off the volume there so pretty simple I'll just hit this with a white paint and a clear coat and I think that will be done. Okay guys, check this out. This is pretty cool. I just got Eve working. If I just toggle this switch, check this out. Boinks. And... Oh, let's see. I press this one. Oh, it's working! And here's the electronics. I'm not sure if you can hear, but uh, about roughly every 20 seconds, um, this thing, this thing plays uh, a random sample. There you go. Okay. Um, the way this is working is um, we've got power that goes to um, this switch here that that um, kind of toggles this uh, button on and off and uh, when, when this button is pressed um, electricity goes into this board and uh, uh, things start, start to roll um, basically um, this thing here is transforms the 6 watts <laughs> come on <laughs> The six watts to five, uh, sorry, volts. Um, so, and uh, I can use uh, DC power here if I want to. It's a quite big lump of uh, stuff, but I kept it there because it's simple. And uh, here we have the uh, simplified Arduino, with the chip basically, and a couple of components. And um, so this this thing is driving the eyes, as we saw earlier. And here we have uh, uh, 
other fruit uh, sound board. Like I said, um, um, it has uh, samples that it's playing randomly. I guess there was five, and uh, they they play uh, around every 20 second intervals. Um, the way this works is um, um, I just um, this is like a USB port, um, and it has a two megabyte. Uh, memory and uh, uh, the samples are OGG files and so, and so they are quite small. It's like a, um, I guess it's a, some kind of open source uh, MP3 kind of kind of file. And uh, from there, mm, uh, the sound goes to this amplifier. I build it from a kit. Where is it? Um, it's like. Um, this kind of future kit, uh, like a simple um, learning kits for electronics, cost like a couple of euros. Uh, it was fun to build, so um, in goes the audio, gets amplified, and then there goes the there's the speaker, and uh, it's it's pretty pretty clear sound. It's working. So those are basically the electronics. Pretty simple stuff, but um, um, for me it was uh, a great, great learning experience to 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 actually get it working. Uh, I was pretty skeptical of getting it working. Um, so next thing we have to do the visor. That's it. So how here points? That looks weird. Let's see how it goes. Mommy! Don't mind the mess. We're pretty much done here. Um, uh, the toothpicks here are because I'm gluing the visor on. Uh, that that turned out to be the. Uh, most difficult part of this project. I had huge troubles with the resin uh, curing, or, or not curing. Uh, I took three castings, and the uh, first one was total failure. Uh, added more hardener, uh, ended up with this one, though it was still sticky, and I had to uh, remove the sticky layer with the uh, nail polish remover. I guess it's some kind of acetone or whatever. Um, and then I took a third casting just just to be sure, and I put even more hardener, uh, and it still turned out turned out crap. It's, it's still sticky and uh, not clear. Uh, I hate this stuff, <laughs> but. Um, close enough. It's pretty smooth. I'm not sure how I, I can do it any better. But yeah. I'll take some uh, better photos of it and uh, let's take a look, look at those. There's the final figure. 
um, at least I learned a lot. I hope you did some too. Um, uh, I think the uh, separated stages or the parts I did were um, quite simple. Uh, nothing too fancy or uh, not that too difficult anyways. Um, but I think um, it was a pretty interesting um, like a cross-platform project to like uh, combine all the different stages and mediums from starting from uh, uh, modeling the thing in Blender using digital tools and then uh, printing printing it out like a, I think 3D printer is like a, a crossway of a, a analog and a digital world world and um, then of course uh, after that the finishing part was uh, just a basic crafts crafts and tools stuff um, nothing that that difficult but um, overall I'm pretty happy with the end result and um, let's continue do something else next time uh, I hope you have enjoyed this series and uh, hit that like button or maybe if you like to see more something like this hit that subscribe all right See you next time.